Hello, Joshua P. Warren here, and uh, here is this new experiment slash exercise that I've been working on. Um, you'll see I have some kind of weird looking stuff here on this table in front of me. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to tell you what each of these things are. But these are instruments that uh, I am hoping will help me increase my ESP or psychic ability. Now let me explain something. Uh, I have never considered myself a psychic, but I believe that every human being has some potential for ESP or psychic ability. I mean, all the five senses that we have took a long time to evolve, and I certainly don't think that we have reached perfection. So it is my opinion that we are continuing to evolve and that we are constantly in the process of developing new senses that will give us more information about the world. However, that evolution does not take place at the exact same rate in everybody. Uh, I mean, for example, anybody can sit down and make a noise on a musical instrument, but not everybody can sit down and make beautiful music with that instrument. Some people have more of a talent, more of an aptitude, and, and, you know, even those people who have talent, they still have to practice and exercise and work at it. So you have nothing to lose by at least trying it out, because if indeed we do have ESP, as I believe, then uh, there ought to be some way of, of learning how to exercise it and enhance it. So this is the experiment that I've been doing for a while. I'm going to uh, explain to you how it works, and I'm going to tell you what's been happening to me so far. So I have on this table what really amounts to three different forms of random event generators, meaning that these are three different devices which should give me some kind of a, a random, unpredictable result, according to everything we know about science and physics in the conventional manner. So first off, we have the most familiar looking thing here. I have my own little miniature roulette wheel. And uh, this is just like the type that you find in a casino. Um, and because it's small, it uses a little BB as the ball. Basically, there are 38 different positions that this ball can land in if you spin this wheel. So you spin it and you toss the BB in there. And it's either going to land on 1 through 36 or there is uh, a single zero and a double zero. So there's 38 possibilities. And according to science, nobody should be able to predict where this BB is going to land. So this is one type of mechanical random event generator. Uh, I have another mechanical random event generator, which is this little thing. Now, this is uh, really a novelty device. You can find these sold in stores as uh, decision makers, they call them. And this has six different decisions on here, like yes, no way, try again, ask a friend, definitely. But what makes this really cool is that it's magnetic. There's a magnet inside here, and, uh, and there's a metal, or maybe it's another magnet in the base, I'm not sure, but there's a magnet here. And so you swing this around, and what you find is that once you start swinging it, nobody can predict exactly how this magnetic interaction is going to affect this pendulum. So you don't know where it's going to land. It has one of six positions where it could land. And um, uh, of course, um, this is a mechanical device as well, but it does have the magnetic component. So it's a little different than the roulette wheel. And then thirdly, I have this electronic random event generator. This is also sold as a novelty decision maker. And basically um, this has a little button, a little on switch, and there are six options here. Uh, try again, always, yes, maybe, never know. And you hit this button. And when you hit this button, it will randomly select one of these LEDs to light up. Nobody should know which one it is. So here you go. Boom. Okay. It picked always. So scientifically, nobody should be able to predict what's going to happen when you hit that button or swing that pendulum or put that ball there, not to mention combining all three of these together. So what I'm doing is I'm having these sessions where I sit down and um, I basically say, okay, I'm going to see if I can influence or predict, I'm not sure which way it's working, it doesn't really matter that much, the outcome of all three of these at more or less the same time. 
and I'm going to demonstrate this for you right now, what I've been attempting to do. So like right now, uh, I'm about to spin this and swing that and then hit this. And here's what I, I'm, I want to happen. I want this to land on 14, okay? Here's 14 right there. I just picked that out of the blue. I want that to land on 14. I want this to say try again. And I want this to land on yes. So let's see what happens. 14 is what I want. 14, try again, and yes. So I'm going to spin this and 18. Okay, I missed on that one. So I want this to land on yes. And in the meantime, I want this to land on try again. Here we go. Nope, it landed on never. I didn't get that one. And so now we'll see if this lands on yes. It's slowing down. Looks like it might land on yes. You never know exactly how long this process is going to take. You can see just how unpredictable it is as this thing erratically is jarred around and it landed on definitely. So what you just saw there was exactly what you would expect scientifically. I did not get any of these correct. And it, scientifically, it's very, very difficult, really, especially to get the roulette wheel correct, which is why people gamble on it. So you can imagine how remarkable it would be if you, if you were able to do what I was just saying I want to do, to be like, this is what's gonna land here, this is what's gonna happen here, this is what's gonna happen here. If you can do that, then that's way, way, way beyond mere chance. Now, I will tell you this, um, I've only been doing this for a few weeks, but um, on one occasion, I was able to get the roulette number at the same time I got the magnetic one. So I did get two out of three. And on another occasion, I got the roulette number with the uh, digital one. So I have gotten two out of three on two occasions. That's pretty good. So I haven't gotten three out of three. It shows you how challenging this is. So this is the little exercise that I'm doing to see if I can influence three dif different types of more or less random event generators at the same time. I will leave you with one interesting little result so far. The very first day I started practicing with this method, um, I didn't make a lot of great progress. I, I you know, I, I might have gotten, I don't think that first day I got even two out of three. But that night, I had a very vivid dream that I was sitting at a roulette wheel in a casino. And I've never had a dream like that before in my life. And um, I very clearly remember the number 15 coming up as a winning number. So a couple days later, I was running errands. I'm in Puerto Rico right now, and I was near a casino. So I went to a casino and uh, I walked in and I sat down for a few minutes and I was like, I'll put it on 15 and nothing happened. So I was like, oh, well, I guess that was a fluke. Then a little after that, I ended up in another casino in San Juan and I had a couple of friends with me and we were talking about these experiments and I said, yeah, I had a dream that it was 15, but it didn't work out for me before. And I said, you know, what? I'm going to try that one more time. I sat down and I put a big stack on 15, 15 hit three times in the first 30 minutes. Now that is amazing. Does that have a connection to what I'm doing here? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, there are a lot of random and interesting and weird things that are swirling around here in this process. But now that I've shown you how simple it can be to sit down and start you know, exercising your mind trying to practice and experiment with ESP and psychic ability. Uh, I hope that some of you will do similar experiments. I mean, you can use dice and all kinds of things uh, just to see if you can beat the odds. And I think that's a very basic way of exercising that ESP. If you want to keep up with the results from my experiment here and other experiments that I'm doing, please go to my website, joshuapwarren.com and sign up for the free e-newsletter there on the site. Uh, as a matter of fact, I like to tell people when you sign up for the free e-newsletter, you'll instantly receive what I call a digital good luck charm. 
So again, that's joshuapwarren.com. I will keep you updated. And uh, until next time, may the force be with you.